Hello everybody, this is Prowl and today I have for you an incredibly easy sugarcane farm that you can make in your world. It's small, it's modular, you can put it anywhere, you can make it as large or as small as you want to. So without further ado, let's get started. But first, please make sure you click that like button right now to get this video shown to more people and subscribe to the channel for more great Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorials. Okay, let's go. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna start with the chests and the chest can go really anywhere. We're gonna go ahead and just put it right here. It's gonna be roughly in the middle of our farm and we're gonna just have a couple hoppers going into the back of it like this. And we're gonna make this farm, like I said earlier, as wide as we want. So let's say I'm gonna go over one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And let's say I'm gonna go over another seven this way. You could do it literally any size, including it could just be one block or it could be a hundred blocks long, it doesn't matter. Okay, now on top of these hoppers, we're gonna need to put some mud blocks. If you don't know how to get mud blocks, you do not have to travel to a mangrove swamp to get them. Actually, it's super easy. Anywhere you see dirt, click a bottle of water on it. That's it, converts it into mud, super easy. So we're gonna take our mud blocks and we're going to plant them right across here like this. And I'll explain why that is here in just a moment. But first, we need to get some blocks temporarily right here. And we're going to put a stair sideways there facing upwards. And we're gonna put a stair to the side of that and just bring these stairs all the way down because sugarcane needs to be planted beside water for it to actually be plantable. Put a temporary block right here, put a stair right here. Now, as you can see, we have a bunch of stairs ready. We can take water buckets and fill all those stairs with water, which will now allow us to plant sugarcane right here in all of the slots just like that. Now, directly behind a sugarcane, you're gonna wanna put any solid blocks. You're then gonna wanna put a piston at this second level all the way across. And then you're gonna wanna put observers facing this way all the way across. Next, you're gonna alternate a little pattern here of solid blocks. We're gonna put one up here by the back of the observer and one down below it with a gap in the middle. Beside that, we're just gonna put one against the piston. And we're going to do this motion right here all the way across. Then we need some redstone dust to sit on the uh, tops of these blocks right here. And then as far as your redstone is concerned, that is it. It is incredibly simple. Now we do need to block everything in here. So why don't we make it look kind of nice and neat? We can block in the bottom as well. And just so we can see what's going on inside, let's put some glass down. So why did we decide to use mud blocks? Well, mud blocks have a very special property to them. They're actually not full height blocks, yet they do allow you to plant sugarcane on them. So that means I could put the sugarcane right here. I could put another one right here. And what will happen is when this gets broken, the sugarcane will actually get sucked down into the hopper because these mud blocks are not full size blocks. So when I put this here, you see it got broken and it immediately got picked up by the hoppers and it is right there. Now, the way that this thing works is every other slot will be a like a single firing. So one piston fires, but if I do it on this one right here, you see all three of those pistons fired. Um, so this farm is 100% efficient, but it does fire some extra pistons in every other slot. Will not hurt your rates of your farm whatsoever, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, this farm is completely lossless. We lose no sugarcane in the process. And as you can see, it is incredibly small, being a total of four blocks deep, including the front casing right there. And guess what? That's it. You now have yourself an automatic sugarcane farm. Again, if you want to get faster sugarcane, all you got to do is make more of these units, as many as you want. And while you're working around within the area of your world, that sugarcane will continue to grow and you will continue to automatically harvest it. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I need you to hit that like button down below. Drop me a comment. Let me know what are you using the sugarcane for and how big did you make this thing? Also, if you want to hop into my Discord channel, show me pictures of your sugarcane farm. I would definitely like to see them. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, make sure you do it. And finally, consider picking up a channel membership to help support the channel. It is greatly appreciated. I thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you next time. Bye.